You know, I've seen a lot of requests for Torterra, and some of you have probably been waiting until this day comes, and we are finally here. As we play a Torterra that has 440 HP, thanks to the Hero's Cape. So what does the Torterra EX do? Forest March 30 damage for each of your grass Pokemon in play. So if you get all your grass Pokemon out, you hit him 180 damage, which is pretty funky for one energy. And of course, with the Grottle Archetype from beforehand, this is actually not that hard. Throw in an Evo Press Torterra for a single prize attacker and Lilligund V Star to use its Star Perfume and just find all of your fire. I was find all your grass Pokemon, but something else came out. Then ultimately you have a pretty strong deck that is very tanky. And of course, we need to draw cards, so we also have the wonderful Beautifly. And that's basically the deck, so let's see how it goes, and hopefully we can run into some Charizards. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off, TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards, and whatnot, where you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below, but for now, let's get going. Coming against the Chen Pao, which is not a good matchup if you just, you know, think about it for a second. So I'm not feeling too great, but we move. Let's get some Turtwigs out. This is the new Turtwig that actually is Greninja protected, which is wonderful. Not sure why I play a Manaphy now, but here we are. Let's enter. Now the good thing is, of course, they need some time to set up as well. So I just need to get a bunch of Pokemon out as quickly as I can. I usually want to go second for obvious reasons, you know, TM evolution, but Going first still isn't that bad because you just get more time to get bench Pokemon. The big problem with the Turtwig is it's 80 HP, meaning Buddy Poffin isn't that good in this deck. So it's a bit more difficult to get that full board out, um, which is a bit sad, really. But that's just the Turtwig being too chunky. There you have it. But we'll have to get Manaphy down now, which will reduce our damage output to 150. But regardless, I think that's just going to be the nature of this matchup. We're not going to be taking any big one hit KOs. But it does actually prevent us from Okoing the uh, Bax Calibur. So yeah, I'm not not feeling 100% here, but we moved. There's a Lilligant without the V-Star, so that's kind of pointless right now. Gonna have a Turtwig down. I still feel I need to get the Manaphy out because we are still gonna have a lot of basics. So let's just Iono here. Hopefully we find a Grottle. That's kind of what we want now. And we do. Lovely. It's not everything. Oh, Serena's quite nice as well. Let's get Serena down. Tempted to get the Lilligant V, although that is now a liability, you know? Hmm. It's interesting, but I think I'd go for it. Yeah, let's get the Lilligant V down. Unfortunately, no energy to TM evolve with, so that's unfortunate. Now, what I'm going to do is get myself a Cascoon, a Silcoon, sorry. Um, but the thing is, if they go Ninja, they're just going to get rid of my Silcoon and I can't draw. So we have a little bit of a threat right now that I'm worried about, especially considering I can't just, I would love to TM Eva right now and just get the Beautifly out instantly. But unfortunately, no. So I have to just gonna, well, to be fair, we're just gonna have to pass here and hope they don't get a boss on the Silku. And I'm happy to give away the Manaphy now, because after this Manaphy goes down, unless, to be fair, they have the, the Cologne, which I doubt they'll have. This deck has Dunsparce and stuff in it, so I don't know what room it really has. I'm seeing a lot of decks replace the Barrel with the Double Dunsparce, because it doesn't mean you have to commit to the bench spot. If you have big hands, you don't need to be Barrel. Uh, sorry, if you have big hands, sorry, the Barrel's a bit worse. But Nichien Pao? I don't know, really, because you usually just bring your hand down anyway. Also, Double, double Dunsparce actually prevents deck out. So I'm curious as to how, if any of you have played the double or triple Dunsparce against a stall deck, because the theory would be if you just play three Dunsparce and you just keep evolving and drawing, you never deck out. Uh, but then again, they could obviously mill and stuff like that. But in that position, you just kind of take that into account and try and KO the Chi Yu. Like, I'm actually curious about that interaction. But either way, they're going to keep moving here. The hands would be a pain, but yeah, actually no, I completely forgot about the hands. But the hands would have done it anyway if I had the Silcoon. So I think I'm just in a bad spot regardless. So I just need to start drawing with the, with the, with the, uh, the butterfly. Here's to hoping something works out. There's a poker stop. Still digging for that red candy, but they lose a back to the reader in the process. Oh, they boss. Oh, they're gonna take out the silk. Yep, exactly what we what we thought was gonna happen here. But that said, I can grottle for a Lilligan V start and then just get all my Pokemon, basically. <laughs> so I do have an attack next turn. So losing a beautiful isn't actually that bad. Um, ultimately. So that's fine. And also we can get the energy as well. So Lilligan V-Star really puts this together when you do struggle, but this is just not the matchup. I'm just saying, it just ain't the matchup. It's just, you just, the, the one at KO is just something you don't want to face. Um, and that's just an unfortunate reality. So let's go for a sun Drenched Shell here and we'll get the V-Star and then just get everything. All right. So we need to think about what we need here. We obviously have Torterra here. In fact, ah, uh, if I could, if I get my reversal, I'd love to go for an Evo press right now, but we can't. Let's go for a Star Perfume. We obviously want a Grottle. That'll get us another energy. Um, we want to 
to we want a worm pool. We want an energy. In fact, two energy probably best. Maybe another turret twig just to keep the ball rolling. Well, and I'm benching worm pool now. Might as well just get the Evo press towards Terra then while I'm here, right? Okay, let's do that. And now we just start evolving. Um, let's go into you, into you, into you, into energy. I'll uh, cross that ahead of time for another Silcoon. This is why I play double Silcoon. And then we just go for a 150. All right, let's see. They could Oko us, but it's going to be a lot of work to do it. So be interested to see how that unfolds. I do want to find my reversal though, so I can pull up an Evo press. I think the Evo press is going to offset the price trade quite well if we get a KO with it. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And that hero's cape can go a long way too. So we still have some tricks up our sleeve. But again, the third time I'm saying it, Chen Power is like the worst matchup. Anything that has a limitless damage cap and can reach these heights that we're trying to avoid, you just don't win against because you're two hit KOing versus one hit KO on the same prize trade. It is just, it's just a bad idea. Either way, there's a Dadan Spass. We go for another runaway draw. 15 cards in hand. And Donny still didn't have the backs. I mean, you should have it by now, right? You can't have a hand that big and get nothing. It's just, you just can't. And they go for a poker stop as well. Still no rare candy if that's what they're hunting for. Unless they're just trying to mill themselves. I mean, sure. There's Irida. Finally a Bax. And they will be able to get a KO here. There's just no way they don't. Now, because I haven't got rare candy, I can't just get the beautiful line draw. So we are just in a little bit of an awkward spot. There's a superior. Getting rid of a frigid Bax and a heavy ball. Covering a bunch of energy, of course. I need a bloody Iona, mate, at this rate. Jesus. Iona can go a long way, actually. Really. When you don't have the barrel, Iona goes a really long way. There's Bax Calibar and some other cards back in with the rod. And super colds. Most likely said they want a KO. I think they need seven energy to do this. And they're probably just going to load it up all now. Yep, that's the magic. No, that, that's six. That's not set. Wait, wait, it is six. No, they do need six. Yeah, why did I think seven? Yeah, why did I think seven? I don't even know. Well, as soon as I get that hero's cape, mate, you're gonna need eight. So good luck with that bad boy. They're gonna come in a lot of stuff to take that one, KO. That said, they probably still can. All right, let's bring up this grotto. And you can see what I'm saying about it being a bad matchup. It just, if it can one it KO, you just have problems. Right. Evolve to the Silcoon. And I have to take a risk here. Well, no, do, do I take no, I don't take any risk. A grotto here. I think I just get another, another, another big Torterra. I don't think I go for the small one because I'm not I've not yet found my reverse reversal to use it yet so let's artisan here we'll get ourselves a turt twig down evolve here and go for the forest march and if they ko my silcoon it's not looking great if they don't then we may have something in our favor kind of want to just force them to torteras now even the, the 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 baby torterra isn't that good of a shout but there's still a lot to do man still a lot to do there's a rad greninja and a nest ball coming down and hm pow on the bench so can they get six again i mean it's very likely i think they probably will with the hand size again um, I have Arvin. So Arvin will... The thing is, I need I need another big Torterra. <laughs> Funny enough. Arvin will actually get me, uh, as long as I get a big Torterra, another Torterra EX out. But yeah, not having a Grottle, not having the bench that I kind of would want is definitely getting in the way of things. Um, they can't go Ninja right now unless they have Cancel and Cologne, but I doubt they have Cancel and Cologne because you've taken time to fit the Dunsparce and stuff in your deck. I'm assuming you would cut things like Cologne just for that. But there's a Poker Stop. So now they need seven energy because of course they need to retreat. So there is four off the Retrieval getting rid of a buddy pop and an ultra ball and they start super colding do they have it really would not be surprised if they do oh okay shivery chill still won't do it though shivery chill won't get in there there's two more but that's five not six and they cypher okay see cypher's actually looking better and better as i play i'm actually playing this um goldengo deck that i played on my twitch stream earlier today i was going to stream a bit later on now but i just didn't have time but it, it, it was popping off it's doing really well and cypher maniac was so good in it just guaranteeing Two cards every time you had a Goldengo in the active was so good. And combining that with the Dunsparce and stuff, mate, it was powerful. And ultimately, the very st good strength of it... Oh, they, they've retrieved anyway, so they, they have it. Uh, the, the biggest strength, really, was the, um, the the mere fact that if you got iono you'd still get the card you want. So it actually was Iono Prevention on top of top decking whenever you want. So it was a really good good card in something like Goldengo. And obviously, it's good here as well. Um, but it just works as the Dunsparce, ultimately. Yeah, so they have enough energy here. That's going to be the six. And I am I would be surprised if they didn't Cypher Maniac for a the Dunsparce and then a Retrieval to just get the best odds of pulling off another massive one at KO if I give them another big Torterra. And this is why Torterra just isn't good. This is it. If you're wondering why is Torterra not performing well, big KO's Charizard is because you, that's like this, you just insta lose. There's, there's nothing you can do. And that's not that's not me being negative. That's me being honest. Right. So let's just try and thin out here. We finally get the Beautifly. I'm actually tempted to Arvin right now and just get the rare candy. But I think I'll Stoke Straw first. I think that's probably better. And we don't get 
what we need, unfortunately. Um, I, I kind of have to... If I poker stop here, then maybe. I could poker stop and hit an ultra ball, and then that would get me what I need. I mean, it literally is my best bet. It's like my only option. So let's get rid of this. Get two energy. Oh, I haven't got an ultra ball. Um, yeah, I think we just lose. Unless I hit red candy. Okay, actually, no. If we lose... Okay, I'll jack. Jack will get me to terror. And sure, a bit of fire, whatever. And then we could poke stop and maybe hit red candy. Let's see. And no, and that that is legit GG. There's nothing else now. Unfortunate, but that's just... you. I, I can't do anything about it. Oh, it's the big Bauda. Hello, so we are playing Future Box, and our hand is actually good. So we can Arvin for uh, an Espawn, stuff like that. Um, I, I actually am a bit more tempted to just go for an Iono, you know, just to try and hopefully find a few more basics. Um, but then again, TM Evolution, I only need to get two, don't I? So if I go for a Turtwig here, and then I Arvin for a Nest Ball, that's not a bad shout in the slightest. Um, could also get the Cape as well. So let's go for that. Also, my opponent's had a very bad start. Do I go for Lilligant? That's my question. Right? If I go for Lilligan, and I could just boss up, not boss up, but just, yeah, well, go boss married, I guess you could say. That was too cringy. And get Lilligan and then just go crazy. Or do I go for a Wormpool where I could then just get Cascoon and then I can grottle through a Beautifly to get Draw? Um, that kind of feels a bit better, if I'm honest with you. It means I have to be a bit more urgent with getting my other stuff out, but honestly, not that big a deal. So let's do that. And I'm going to throw the cape on it now. So we just know a, a baby Moridon just can't KO it. That's just, it, it, they do any crazy shenanigans, right? Prime capture and all that. It, it, there's just nothing. It's not going down, right? That's kind of where I want to be in that, that that level of confidence, you know? Do you need to get this uh, Serena out of the active though? That's another thing. But either way, the Grottles online, that's going to get us the beautiful fly. And then we just go from there. And this is weak to grass, right? Oh my God, this is lovely. So not only now do we get these things out, we can actually have, we actually have something we can Oko. Yeah, I can't like the, uh, the, wait, why are you putting that there? What? Wait, you should turbo. Uh, okay, okay. Whatever rocks your boat, my friend, do your thing. So they're going to Moridon on here and odds are they are going to be able to just keep my rainy, rainy serena in the active which is a shame because the serena is actually quite fun um being able to just heal a, a little bit here and there it definitely go a long way but i do doubt i'll be able to get this out of the active spot man i don't have the most confidence wait anyway, there's a energy gone there we are playing the future box obviously not the hands box which is a nice it's just refreshing and actually helps us because they don't usually future box you don't see the i the the, the the moth you know the ancient the the the, the, the what the, is it iron iron moth yeah that's the one that's fire type right the iron moth i think so usually you don't see that so we're not going to get punished by that. But the hands, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about pull the hands. Uh, but no, it seems like they're going to come in with the boulder, which is uh, very brave. In fact, kind of silly. I don't know if I back the ting, my guy. He's going to have a touch of down anyway. Do I have switches? I keep forgetting. I do. Okay, so it's not, it's not the be one end I need to get a switch card, but that's easier said than done. Let's go for a grotto. We'll get ourselves the beautiful eye just to give us some draw now. I'll uh, evolve this here. I think the Lilligant's probably not... Actually, no. You never know. It might actually be needed. So I think I'll get rid of Grottle here and just go for the two energy. One onto the Torterra. Then I'll, yeah, I'll beautify for free first. And okay, not great, but that's all right. We'll put the Wormple down and then I'll put Lilligant V down. I I'm about to Iona to the bottom of my deck. So I don't think I'm going to be seeing Lilligant V anytime soon. That's it. If I get a Grottle, that would have done it as well. But I just need a switch card. I just want to switch. I want to come into Torterra, take a KO. That'd be lovely. Ah, uh, get it. I was so confident I would, you know. But unfortunately, we might lose this to hands. And that's a bad bad opening just because i couldn't get the switch card it doesn't feel great but at least there's a liability actually no why am i saying we might lose it to hands they've got one energy on it if anything we're just gonna lose it to the bowler that we can return one it ko even if we do it what would it do eight damage counters on us that's like that's fine i could also rod back serena and get healing a little bit again just let Tolterra just tank its way through you know because it's crazy right if i have serena, this is why serena is important here all right Oh, you cheeky bugger. Don't get another generator in there. Oh, they might. Okay. They, uh, they might instead go for an arm press. That's all for. Also for Brother, why am I. Oh, why do I play this card game? I had the rope, the rods, which I needed exactly for Serena. It fixes the maths. It, it fixes so much maths for us. Oh, I could I can have them for it. I, no complaining. All right. They're just, they're just my ride on here instead, which actually isn't a bad shout. But if I could just KO this Donnie, I mean, it, it's kind of an obvious no brainer. But yeah, the Serena is super important because the. I Iron Hands, I think, usually, well, right now, it's hitting, what, 220, right? So if it's hitting 220, then if I heal, it's not even two-hit KOing me. It's three-hit KOing me, which is what I kind of want to create. That's scenario. Let me check my deck, though, because I have a different idea uh, instead of the rod, because I can always do that turn afterwards. Yep. There it is. I'm going to counter catch. I'm just going to counter catch that boulder and just ruin its day. That's exactly what I'm going to pull off. Right. What's going on here that I might need to use with? Manaphy? God, no. Get it out of here. Lilligan? Again, not so... I don't want that liability right now. I just don't. So for the sake of damage output, let's get a Turtwig down. Evolve into the Cascoon. Arvin. And then I'll get myself a counter catch. 
and an EXP share. That really goes a long way. Bit of a shame that I haven't got a Grottle, though, you know? But it is what it is. That said, with this counter catch, I'm going to be able to get some Beautifly draw. That's going to be nice. So let's draw with that Beautifly and see if we do get a Grottle. No, we don't, unfortunately. But other than we'll get Rare Candy. Um, Actually, no, Jack. Jack can get... Uh, I don't know, man. All right, well, let's just go Forest March for 360. And that's what you like to see, man. That is what you like to see. Actually, no, maybe I should not. I don't think I should have benched. Love the Torterra. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't think I should have benched because it, I can't now bench my Serena to avoid the 2-hit KO. I, I, I've just made... But then again, look, if they 2-hit KO me now, it's still only for two prizes. Oh, okay. They're going to go for an, an Amp. That's fair. And I'm going to I'm gonna Iono them. That's what I'm going to do because I need to now. I can't have them have gusting. Uh, <laughs> bro, man said busting. <laughs> oh my God. I, I had PDCG on mute this whole time. For God's sake. There'll be a game in here as well that's also on mute because I forgot. Uh, it's, just, it's just me doing me things, you know? So I can rare candy, but I think that's a bad idea. I think I Iono. They, they're going to have a low card, low, low hand size. The, the gust just is restricted. I'm going to say the nest balls um i actually really want serena back i do but i'm forced to play cards that are just not really going in that direction you know what i mean but leave away we'll do this and we'll go for a stoked straw anything worthwhile um now serena will get my evolutions out but i just don't like the liability you know so i'm just gonna go for a forest march 150 here it's not good though it's it's not a good turn i don't think i'm not happy with it i was kind of hoping when building this deck to run in the run into the grottles a bit more comfortably you know run into the grottles a bit more regularly you know i, th I think i've Seen what, yeah, I think I've seen two grottles this game so far out of four. Um, it's, it's the, the grottles is what makes it happen. If you get the grottles going, then everything kind of pieces itself together. Outside of that, it's yeah, it's just trouble. But again, one more turn to actually try and get that Serena so I don't get knocked out next turn by a hand. That's kind of what I want. That's really what I want right now. And I have to instantly Iono in the hopes of getting that. It's a very big deal, man. I got I gotta hit it, bro. I gotta get the rope. Still no rope. Are you got you gotta be kidding me? You have to be having a bubble, mate. Oh, it's outrageous. It is outrageous. Okay. Um, we have to just stoke straw again. This is not looking good, man. Just just a chance. Okay, there's a rope, but I can't do it now. Oh, Jesus. This was the turn, and I'm gonna fail it because of this bloody deck. Oh, man, what are you doing to me? Right, Evo Press. Is that the only thing I've got, got, got back in me here? Can I get a KO in that on a two prizer somehow? I don't even think so. The hand comes in and takes a KO. And and then, oh, man, I just, I don't know. It's just the wrong cards at the wrong time. It's hell. Rare candy is nice, though. Rare candy is love. I, I, <laughs> I just don't know, man. I just, I just don't feel good. I just don't feel good. If I could change some grottles, then at least there's a bunch of evolutions in play, but it's not enough to do anything. Are they going to have a ride on me? Oh my god, they're going to sparkling strike for two. Oh, they would have had it anyway. Okay, so the Serena meant nothing. Okay, um, well, yeah, this is this is just very bad. Again, just terrible hand. If I can get my EX out, that'd be amazing. But now I need to get a search for it. And it's no grotto! Thank you! The top deck will do it for me. Jesus, can I have cards? All right, here's the hoping that we can just, just stomp our way through. The issue is, is I'm not really KOing anything afterwards, so uh, I, I do have to do artisan though right we, we can all we can all agree that also i'm only hitting i'm hitting 120 i, I need to get yeah you know, grass pokemon down let me artisan quickly because i don't know if i need to bench the worm pull or not yeah i need to bench the worm pull if i'm gonna have to do any, any well actually does it matter yeah it can matter for two shot on uh the hands if that, if that comes up so all right let's just just iono just iono take out this thing maybe get a boss on a on a on a, on a thingy my bob there's a jack that's nice that would be good for grottles apparently if i can find them there they are that's more like it so what i'm gonna do now is rod get a serena back get a grottle back and probably just get a big tall terror again. If I could actually switch this out of the active into another big tall terror, that would be really cool. So in fact, that could actually get save me the game. So all right, let's let's do that. So I'm gonna go for a sun dried shell here and get the other grottle. I think I prized one. I think that's what the problem was. Okay, that's cool. And then we'll go for another sun drenched shell and we go for I think I go for Serena. Yeah. Serena here. Let's pull that play off and we'll go for a forest march. So a, a switch would be good, but I don't even know how many left. Oh yeah, I do. I have switches left. I think I'm gonna have to switch out to survive this game. Could also heal off with the uh, the, the jungle hammer attack, but my HP now isn't big enough because I don't have the cape, so it wouldn't have worked. I'll tell you what, when you start jungle hammering with a cape, it's oh, what? Bro, I can boss that for game. I guess they have to bench to me. Oh, they bundle. Oh no. Well, that's just GG, isn't it? Yeah, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. But I don't know. There's just something wrong with, with Torterra. I don't know why. It just, it just, it's big and tanky, but it just can't be strong enough. It can't navigate the decks right now. You know what better subscribe? 
subscribe. I am de-ranking. I, I was, I've never been so close to Arceus. I was like a three wins away from like an Arceus rank. I am de-ranking now for this, Donny. All right, all you people who requested Tall Terror, you better subscribe twice. Make another account and subscribe again. I'm doing it for you, you fraud. All right, we're going to try and get redemption, okay? Because this hand is actually, it's bad. <laughs> it's a bad hand. 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 Uh, let's get ourselves a Wurmple. Is it Wurmple? Yeah, let's get a Wurmple down. And we're just going to have to uh, just hope for the best there, I think. I think a Lilligan's definitely on the cards here. If we top deck a Lilligan, it just, the, the deck just flies. But we do need that top deck. My confidence, though, isn't great. Uh, let's do that. And I think I'll just go for another Wurmple, maybe. Yeah, let's go for another Wurmple. And we hope for the best. I think I hold the energy in the center. Just a, a Jack. I played Jack, and that might be the answer. If I could do that, I'll be a happy Donny. That's for sure. Right, I'm riding on down. And a town store and an iron crown. We get a future booster energy capsule there. I can get TM Evolution now, thanks to that town store. So there is the option to do that if 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 we are in trouble, and that's going to get me out. So it's it's not terrible. Thankfully, they're helping us a little bit. Also, it seems like they might not be getting hands just yet. It's funny, because they are doing 80 damage, but the solid shell is actually protecting me here right now, unless they bench another crown. Oh, they are Yono. Then they are going to get another crown. There's just no way they don't. But that's it. That's a new hand for us. Meaning we could get... There you go, Lidigan. And we could really do well here. Arvin can actually just get us a rare candy as well. So this is looking funky. So they're going to go for the crown. They're going to be greedy. I'm sure you don't do that unless you have an out to hands. That's, that, that's greedy. That's greedy, I think. Because surely you want to be charging up a hands right now. Look at all of these low HP Pokemon. You must be sitting there going, a hands. But you've opted out and instead done that. Accelerate two lightning energy to my ride on. Um, unless you have psychic in hand. Usually you do see one psychic. But I think, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm getting the impression that that was a bit of a greedy play. They might come to punish you, mate, if you don't be careful. Um, right, so, Lilligan V Star, pretty much gonna get us everything we need, thankfully. Um, well, not everything, but it will do a very solid job that the Grottles currently aren't doing today. Right, let's Star Perfume. Red Candy's in deck, so I can't instantly Torterra here. That's nice. We get a Silcoon. Uh, I, need, I need another Turtwig. No harm in going for another Silcoon. And a Beautifly, I think. Yeah, that seems all fine to me. So we do Silcoon, Silcoon, Turtwig, Arvin, get a Rare Candy, and an EXP share. Always goes a long way. Rare Candy into Torterra. Just noticed I priced my Hero's Cape. That's great. And we'll throw any EXP shares down. Let me just double check. I did price the Cape, right? Yeah, I priced the Cape, of course. Typical. Right, well, I'll do a 180 there. And we need to now effectively try and get another Grottle in so I don't have trouble here. Hero's Cape? No, oh, but it is another Grottle. I'll take that. So you can see the power of Lilligan and why it's in here. It is a bit of a sitting duck, though. I will say that for a for for a fact. And now my opponent's in a bit of a no man's land position. If you think about it, like you just have to pick acceleration again or get double hands generator. They should not have just committed so much to getting that one KO on the Turk Twig. Like, it, they just locked in. Absolutely locked in on that. Tunnel vision and all that, you know? There's a boulder. Oh, my God. Jeez, I feel bad for you now. Another thing that we could just want it KO. Yeah, sweet, mate. This is looking like a future box, uh, which is weird because then you would probably see a lightning on this Maridon earlier. But we're not. Um, and on top of that, that's just great for us because of the boulder's weakness. And hopefully we just get a redemption from the bloody game before where we just we just fell apart against this deck. If wait, there's a Techno Radar. Go for an energy discard to get two more crowns. They are just full sending the crown. There it is on the bench. Does this guy even play Iron Hands? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, even as an XP share on the boulder. Unless they do have the, the, the psychic. And then they, they were preparing for that. And I'm I'm wrong. But I mean, they should be having the psychic, right? Everything they're doing right now kind of point. No, wait. Oh, they do. Okay. Why did I? Wait, did they just put that down? Like, and it, it glitched. I didn't see that get placed. Am, am I bugging? Bro, I don't know. It's, I, I'm just going to leave it. it. It's fine. I'm just bugging. We'll just take it as bugging. <laughs> At least it's not a hands. I'll take that. All right. So I've evolved here. I definitely don't want to Iono, at least until next turn. So I'm going to Grottle here and get myself a, another Beautifly. Two Beautiflies, no harm in that at all, is there? All right, let's do that. And we need to find that cape, man. The hero's cape can be huge for us. What would Arvin do for us if it was to do anything? Counter catch, it could get for next turn, actually. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I can, I can counter catch Iona next turn then, right? So Arvin like this. Because they're going to take two prizes. Um, and that's actually okay. Because next turn I can just go for another... I think it's not, it's not a caped one again. I can always work on another one. Okay, so that Maridon goes down. Obviously, the boulder eats it up. Just needs a fighting energy. And they can get a KO on us. Actually, can they? No, they're going to hit us for... Yeah, they can. They can. But if they do, that then just opens up the, the counter catch play. If they, you know, if they retreat to Maridon and get a Maridon KO and then accelerate to boulder, which is, I'm assuming what they want to do here. They don't want to just come up with boulder. Then I'm assuming that's what they'll go for. But their hand size, which is why I don't want to Iona them, is literally the only thing. If you want to beat a hands deck, shorten their hands. That's it. Don't let them get plays. The deck is powerful, right? Very aggressive, very powerful. Takes multiple prize cards. If you want to beat it, just use your Ionos at the best possible times you can identify. That's all I would say. They're going to bring up Grottle. Can I try and stick it and pass? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. They can't do anything now. This is what I love to see. So, do I just sun trench shell into the into the big big grottle again? Just get the healthy one up? I think I do, you know. And just heal this one on the bench in the meantime with Serena if I can. Yeah, we do that. Of course. All right, let's get healing here. No need to Iono. They're clearly dead drawing. And, uh... The pressure stays. The pressure stays, mate. They will be able to, like, maneuver a couple of turns at least. Um, and that's where things can get a bit tricky. But it does mean Beautiful I can see off a game with a reversal energy or something. So, yeah. Oh, they got rid of a switch cut, funnily enough. Got a Moridon. So they must have energy in hand. They must have energy in hand. Otherwise, why? Unless they are just dead roaring, actually. And they just want to get Moridon for when they're ready for it. EXP share coming out. But this is a hands that isn't having a good time. Oh, they're going to research! Well, I... They must have top decked it. They must have top decked it. That's fine. If they get any crazy shenanigans off, I don't know, baby. That's what we do. There is the peak acceleration for 120. The boulder will KO me if it comes up. And it might actually be worth me coming up into this sort lane because if it is getting KO'd, I might as well heal this one in the meantime to potentially avoid hands damage. Yeah, I switch again. I switch again like this. And in fact, one more energy on here and then I can actually heal it on top. So that's looking okay. And I think I don't Iono. Yeah, I think I don't Iono. I'm a bit, I'm a bit in two minds about it, if I'm honest with you. But it's one less card, right? Whereas I want to Iono them multiple times down to like three card hands. And that's where they're going to fall apart. Especially if I take this out with weakness, right? So I'm going to opt out from Ionoing now. Yeah, I think. I don't know though. I don't know. But that's that's a lot of one prize that we've had to bloody take out. But again, it's a lot of Maride on down. In fact, probably all of them are ride on. So now they're kind of just relying on EXP shares and generators if they hit them. Assuming they even play generators. Every future box is different. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's okay. We, we, we're fine with obviously Iono because we have two beautifulies. So I'm just trying to be as, as careful as possible. And so this Sorterra, by the way, heals itself 50 with the jungle hammer. So the Serena plus that is 70 healed. So. That can just keep this whole terror alive that much longer. Yeah, that goes a long, long way. And you can see why people um, often play... Oh, they go... Jesus, oh, I'm scared of that generator. A another one! And they hit... Did they hit two? No, they hit one. But that's still a that's still very good. Iono! They iono me! No! Blood got there first. <laughs> oh, we do have the boss, though. Hello. Boss is indeed interesting. Hmm. When I go to the boulder, I'm assuming they're going to go for the repulsor axe. Can they hit enough? 140. Uh, no, they can't. Oh, wait. They can. I just, I'm just bad at maths. <laughs> I, for some reason... Reason for that that yeah okay sure thing well i can go for the for the jungle hammer and pretty much heal if most if not all damage off of this and that's huge however i need to get a basic down and okay arvin will get me there that's fine arvin will get me a basic that's okay i need a couple more turns of survival though if i want to get anywhere with this still need to find the bloody cape though that'd be lovely all right let's go for a stoked draw or straw. Why do you call it straw? You make it confusing, game. I'll put a reversal here. Actually, that's kind of pointless, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, it's super pointless. I'll put one on the Beautifly, actually. You never know. Could boss this up for games, so we want to keep that option open. Also gives us one more draw. And also acts as pivot as well. So, yeah, there's just more benefits as I speak. So, we go for an elegant heal. And that's a jungle hammer. And we pretty much avoid a... Well, actually, no, we don't, because we get hit by 80, don't we? Do we avoid a one at KO? 230. Um, I think that's... Oh, no. What's that? I think the hands is hitting 240 right now. 2468. Yeah. No, it's hitting 220, right? No, I can't do maths. It's hitting 240, and I now get it. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that's actually very bad. Um, I get I get the hero's cape at the wrong time, man. I'm getting it at the wrong time. If I had it now on this Torterra, we probably would have won. But the hero cape's coming at the wrong time. It's just too late. I'd have to try and boss stick. I mean, I'm assuming they, 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 yeah, they just retreat and attack, obviously, right? So what I do is I try and evolve into Torterra, put the hero's cape on it, promote Lilligan, boss up a thing, uh, a crown to at least force a retreat out of it. Then pass and hope that they haven't got a boss KO. They can't hit 260, so Lilligan can tank it here. There's an Arvin, though. They also have Counter Catcher open. Prime Catcher! Wait, yeah, no, Prime Catcher will do it. So even if I boss stick, they'll just Prime Cat. So we're kind of checkmated here, aren't we? Bro, I'm telling you, I, I, this deck just doesn't have it. I tell you, it just doesn't, it's not, it's, it's, it, the deck isn't him. It just, it just isn't, yeah, it's just not great for the ladder right now, man. And I've tried, I have tried. We had an unfortunate outcome. Right, the only hope is Iono. Thank God for that top deck, because I was about to flip. Right, okay, I'm gonna uh, lift the mood up again. We have Iona. That goes a long way right now, okay? And also, I'm gonna shuffle my deck afterwards, because I wanna actually get that switch. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna shuffle first. We have Beautiflies, you know? We have that in our favor. I'll get you in play, sure thing, whatever. Uh, I'll put you here. What's in my discard pile trying to get out? Nothing, it's just a glitch, okay. So, we stoke straw. Need a switch. Um, counter catch is pointless. Gonna grossle here and get myself Torterra. Obviously, the Arvin gets us the switch, but it doesn't get us the energy that we need. So, there's still some work to be done. But we could survive, right? Bringing them down, again, this is what I'm saying. Iono is everything in this matchup because you can just shut them down. But the thing is, if I get told Terra, oh, I got the bundle for God's sake. Is that, I think that's happened twice. Is that twice today we've been bundled for game? <sighs> what can I say, man? 
What can I say? Hands is absolutely everywhere and it loses to hands. So yeah, unfortunate, but I tried my best, man. So, okay, I tried. I, I, I don't know what I can say. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. And I think that's because I made some wrong assumptions in building the deck, assuming that the Grottles would be do the heavy lifting. I thought with four Grottle and an Elegant V star power, that we wouldn't need Ultra Balls. In fact, our Jax could get us some extra evolutions here and there if we need it. But as long as we have very strong basic search with the four Nest Balls and four Artisan, that the deck will be able to just sort itself out, especially with TM, TM Evolution Arvin. You know, the, the deck, I think, in theory, does work, but it's just not good enough. It, it, you know, there's turns where you need to take a 1-8 KO in order to keep up, and you can't because the damage output is that limited. And with that Chien Pao, there's decks in the format right now that can just 1-8 KO you even with the hero's cape like don't get me wrong that's really hard work for a deck to do but it's not impossible and that's the problem tanking isn't strong nowadays unfortunately um and, and that's kind of the problem i think i mean there is like art gudra and stuff like that and that's got tanking to it but even that deck still isn't gonna do too great compared to other arcus archetypes like arctina so it just shows that the, the whole idea of tanking and stuff like that, it just isn't good, unfortunately, in the current format, as we know. You never know, it could change after EYC. This is, we're all exploring right now. But for me, on the PDCGL ladder exclusively, don't play Torterra. There's barely any Zards. It's all Iron Hands. You're not going to have a good running into Stall either, I think. So you just it's just a deck to avoid, in my opinion, unfortunately. And uh, that just sucks, because I do love a good bit of Torterra. But... It's, it's a huge letdown for me. But there's other ways you can play it. This isn't the be all and end all. And I know some of you are going to go, it's not a bad deck. It's just a bad deck list. I I, I hear that, bro. I hear that. I, I'm only one mind. You know, it's just me. I can't make the perfect list every video. So please bear that in mind as well. Because I'm seeing a lot of comments about that now. And it's like, listen, I get that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm saying I don't like the deck. I'm saying the build I made I don't like. But I understand there are better builds out there. I'm not God. Okay. <laughs> but either way, tomorrow's deck, I will guarantee you will do well. 110%. And it's a deck you have never seen before. I can pretty much say that as well. So look forward to that because I want to end this drought of terrible decks. So I look forward to that one. See you then and bye-bye. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.